House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer will be briefed by the FBI along with Republican Senator Chuck Grassley on Monday about a document that alleges a criminal scheme, a bribery scheme rather, involving then Vice President Joe Biden and a foreign national. This comes after Comer threatened Ray with contempt of Congress for his agencies refusing a subpoena to turn over that unclassified document. I want to bring in our legal panel now, which is distinguished professor at Toro University, Thane Rosenbaum, and and also federal criminal defense attorney Jim Parkman. And of course, we have uh, our special guest today, Andrew Tchaikovsky. Um, we appreciate you all being here. Uh, Thane, I want to kick this off with you. This is very interesting. Um, obviously, I'd spoken to Chuck Grassley about how he felt that the FBI was going to allow them to view this document, but not physically have it. Now, they he's been helping, obviously, or he's had the help of the House Oversight Committee chairman and the Republican majority to issue that subpoena. They've defied the subpoena. Where does it go from here? So, Kilmeny, what I think the FBI is saying is, look, uh, these are just leads, and they didn't lead us anywhere. Uh, they're unverified, uncorroborated. We're not going to make it publicly available uh, because it involves privileged information. It's not a classified document, but unless a lead gets to an investigation, we're not making it publicly available. The problem, Kilmeny, it's a real problem, is the Oversight Committee is saying to the FBI, give me a break. Nothing is ever verified or corroborated when it comes to the Bidens. When it comes to Donald Trump, it's a no-holds-bar investigation. Everyone in America who is a Democrat gets involved in investigating. If it's a question about the Bidens, it's unverified, it's uncorroborated, it doesn't lead to anything, it doesn't mean anything. So therefore, it, we're just not going to let you see it and if we are going to let you see, it has to be in a special place so that you can't write down any names because we don't want you to follow up. But the real question is, you know, these are, as you said, very serious charges. Frankly, Kilmeny, they're espionage charges. They're the highest of charges. A criminal conspiracy, a criminal bribery scheme with a foreign entity in return for political favoritism on public policy. I mean, that's yeah. just... The worst of the worst. So anyway, that's what this is about. They don't want to show it, but it's a real question is, do they not want to show it because there's nothing there? Right. Or because they don't want it to go further. I want to have Jim weigh in on something else for a moment. Um, again, these federal charges that Hunter Biden may be facing um, related to drug use and, and the federal firearm, this apparently heading potentially to the Supreme Court, or it's going to be uh, talking about the constitutionality of the Second Amendment. Walk us through that, Jim. Well, what, you're, what I think you're looking at in this particular situation is, you know, everybody is after right now Hunter Biden. They want to try to find out what's going on, what has he done, what's his relationships, what's his relationships with China, what's his relationships wherever. So, Whatever they're trying to find out or whatever's in any of these documents that Congress is trying to get is simply a, a seeking method to determine whether or not there exists anything out there that he could have been involved in and whether or not uh, any of the amendments would apply to prevent him from uh, turning over any of those documents to them. So in my opinion, I think where we stand right now is a showdown between the FBI and Congress and whether or not, you know, just simply looking at the documents would, would help or whether or not having the document would help. Uh, and, you know, we have rules right. in federal law dealing with confidentiality and confidential sources. And so those rules can be, allow a defendant to obtain confidential information, confidential sources at times. I don't think any of them apply in this particular case yet, but I think what in, involved is right. I think Jim Parkman, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there, panel. Sorry, Jim Parkman, right. Thane Rosenbaum. Thank you.